Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Not New Super Mario Bros, U Deluxe, but instead we are starting a brand new journey in New Super Luigi U Deluxe. As you can see over here, this is a whole new game that is bundled in with New Super Mario Bros U that has Mario Go, not Mario, Luigi going through an adventure. I think to save Mario, I've never ever played this one. It is the only new super game I haven't played. So this is gonna be a really interesting experience. From what I hear, it's a little bit shorter, but a lot more difficult because of a couple of things that I'm sure we'll find out as we go through. As you can see, New Super Luigi U is a little trickier than New Super Mario Bros U. You can jump higher, but you're more prone to skidding about. So let's give it a shot and hope everything turns out okay. We can play as Luigi, we can also play as Blue or Yellow Toad and Toadette and Nabbit, but we'll just probably be just playing Luigi throughout the, this adventure. I, maybe, we'll find out together. This is gonna be really cool. And let's get started. So this time Mario is just not there. His hat is as if it's like his memory. What happened? I don't know, maybe maybe he's out doing like a Mario Odyssey adventure, so he didn't need his old hat. I mean, I guess I got torn up by the ship, so that doesn't make any sense either. Anyways, I guess there's no use making any sense about it. Mario had to go to the bathroom or something, and Bowser is going to do everything that happened before. It's weird how it's actually basically the same, just without Mario. <laughs> Poor Luigi, yikes. All right, see ya. What a shame. <laughs> They're flying away, and oh, right into the tree. So yeah, this really is exactly the same. I'm a little disappointed, I was hoping there was gonna be something new here. But it's almost like, you know, they just say P Princess Peach, Mario's like, okay, I gotta go, go on a vacation, see ya. And then Bowser just came back. Oh, there's Nabbit. So Nabbit sort of joins in, that's sort of a nice little touch. He's like, wait for me, I wanna be a part of the gang this time. Awesome stuff, so. Yeah, everything else seems to be quite usual. Very odd, very odd indeed. But yeah, with this one, we get to play Luigi through the adventure, and that is a lot of fun. And we're basically, I don't think the level or the game is exactly the same. It isn't just playing through the game, but with Luigi, the levels themselves are totally new. So we'll see that happening as we get through it, but it seems to be the same overworld, which I actually wasn't expecting. I was hoping that some things would be different, but it seems to be a lot of it being the same. All right then, so we'll do what we need to do. Lemmy Koopa, boom boom, you're all back where you were before. <laughs> all right, I'm getting some sincere deja vu here. Acorn Plains again. So let's try this out. The first level is right here, Acorn Plains one, Waddle Wing Warning. So that's definitely different. Obviously we have no items. So let's get started. So this was actually released, I think back in like 2012, 2013. And at the time they were doing something called uh, New Super Luigi U. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it was actually, something called Year of Luigi. But anyways, I should probably get into the most important thing here uh, about these levels. Oh wow, this really is weird. I gotta get used to how Luigi controls. But the weird thing about New Super Luigi is that every level is a maximum of 90 seconds to complete. So that makes things much more difficult as we're trying to get through everything. Um, and I'm gonna have a hard time finding all the star coins, I feel. But luckily this means that, um, Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm gonna fall to my doom already. Yep, I died on the first level. This really is deja vu. <laughs> but this one, I expect to die a lot. I expect to have a really hard time, but I feel like that's sort of the fun mix of it, right? They are tough levels, but because of that, they also don't take too much time to get through it with them being only 90 seconds long at most. So yeah, let's just hope that we don't lose too many lives. I feel like that's actually a risk here is that I might actually end up losing lives a lot more often and get like a game over, which I've never ever gotten a game over in a new Super Mario Bros game. So that would be interesting. I don't even know what that looks like. So yeah, that'll be an interesting experience. So what I need to do here is I need to dodge that guy, go over here, try to dodge all of this. Luigi's higher jump is so weird to get used to. Um, And then go up like that, nice. Okay, so there's our coin number two. Let's keep moving and try to find star coin number three, which may be in one of these pipes, might not be, but I don't know until I try. I'm already down to 60 seconds remaining. There it is, there it is. Oh no, I really messed it up then. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. Yes, I will, awesome. So there we go, we got our life back, we got all three star coins, and that's only the first level. But look at that, we actually got a, a little bonus ending here. We should be able to get an item for that. But yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe series. That just finished up. I completed that game 100% as well. Thanks a ton for your help. Here, take this. And what do we get? We get a nice flower, cool. So, very nice. Wanna keep moving forward and see what else we can explore around here. 
and it seems like it's gonna be the same amount of levels as New Super Mario Bros. U, it's just different levels in the selection. So at least that's fun. It seems like they have like the same concept. Are to check your items, we know all about that. So Acorn Plains 2, Crooked Cavern. Let's give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. We're back to five lives. I really am worried I'm gonna start running out of lives. Okay, what do we got there? A whole bunch of nothing. Let's go down this way. Ooh, it's stressful. But apparently there are also like hidden Luigi's in this one, so like you can find like little like Luigi images sort of hidden throughout the level. I'm not too worried about that, but it could be pretty cool to look around from here, you know, from now and again. But man, his higher jump makes a lot of things different. So I see what I gotta do here for star coin number one. It's falling to my doom. Well, it's not really, but it's just so easy to do that with his floaty jump. And he also, like, like the game said, he sort of skids around a little bit more easily. Wait, why is that not getting it? There it goes. Just had to have the right angle, I suppose. Weird. Okay, so we're down this way now. Get up like this, and then ready, set, jump. Dodge all that stuff as much as I can. Yeah, if we can actually throw a Koopa shell here, that might actually be very helpful. I'm guessing, yeah, if I threw a Koopa shell from earlier. Oh, what's over here? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm supposed to have a Tanuki. <laughs> And now it's hooking the uh, squirrel. Oh wait, yeah, and the star coin I got, that was the second star coin. So I missed one already. Weird. So where am I getting a squirrel suit from? That, now we're in this level. That is very weird, we're running into some problems already. Alrighty, so let's try this again. I gotta figure out where star coin number one is. And maybe it's like somewhere out here then. It, could, it very well could be. Let's get a mushroom. I'm gonna check out around here. Maybe I can go into one of these pipes instead. I mean, just because we have 90 seconds doesn't mean we can't explore a little bit. Where could star coin number one be? I mean, it could be as simple enough. Up, oh, there's a star. That's helpful, yes! Hmm. What's in this one? That's the fire flower. Okay, I don't think it's up there. Maybe it's up here somewhere. Oh, that was, man, he jumps so crazy high. It's insane. He almost has like a Yoshi flutter. Like that's how much height he gets. Oh, got it. Now we're over here. But now we're right by the second star coin already. Look, look at how quick that is. Are we sure that's the second star coin? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow, ow, that hurt. Yeah, that's star, star coin number two. Where could it possibly be? It has to be like up here. It just has to. But it isn't, unless it's like, once again, up this way? Where is this thing? This is weird, we're running into some tough times already. Um, doesn't seem to be over here. I'm about to actually run out of time for the level. But I mean, that's not really what I'm worried about at the moment. I mean, maybe it's up one of these pipes that I just haven't checked. No, I think I checked these, actually. So I'm about to run out of time. Which isn't too unexpected. Where could it be? <laughs> I don't know, like maybe it is like later on, but it's this weird thing. I don't know. Where could it be? I think I checked like every possible way. It must be before we enter the cave then. It has to be, right? I'm not sure, this is bizarre. What a tough start. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever played New Super Luigi U before. I would love to hear all about that. We are honestly at threat of losing our lives too. Like, are getting a game over. It has to be out here. But where? I don't see it anywhere. Okay, this is really concerning. I mean, unless it's like hidden away in this side. I already checked on this side, but I'll check again. Oh, no, wait, I swear that I ran again, so all. Okay, well there it is, I'm just a dingus. So there's star coin number one. <laughs> Very well hidden. And let's grab that. Got it. And let's try to be careful here as much as we can. Very good, very good. Oh no, I really need not to get hurt. So that's a big problem out. So that's gonna bounce around and then when it's at this corner like this, there it goes. Excellent. I'm going to hope that this is a power up, it's not. <laughs> oh no. No, whoa, 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 be careful. So I haven't, well no, I do know where star coin number three is, so that's the big problem. Still can't star coin, get star coin number three because I need the acorn suit. So now that I know what I'm doing, I guess I gotta go back to level one and get an acorn suit. This is already really tough, this is the second level of the game. Okay, so here we are again. I'm gonna 
run over like that, perfect. So maybe it's not 90 seconds, it's probably 100. I don't know why I thought it was 90, but there we go. So we got star coin number one. I need to duck and cover under this. This is gonna, going to be really tough because, like I said before, we gotta make our way through this entire level. Unless there was like a spot for a, but that's sort of the thing, I don't think there was. A spot for a acorn suit somewhere that I just didn't see. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the case. So we're just gonna have to be really careful throughout this entire thing to make sure we don't get hit a single time, which as you can see is already proven to be really difficult. We're down to 60 seconds. Go for it, go for it. Ah, boy. Okay, come on. That's good, that got rid of a good chunk of them. I don't really care for the one-ups too much. Okay, so this is technically the end of the level right here, but I need to glide across. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And star coin number three, yeah! But I am so worried because we're down to three lives. And I just gotta play smarter, you know? Just gotta play smarter. Okay, so it's, it's a lot easier to get those kind of things. Yeah, you made it, good job. <laughs> Wowee, I am nervous already because I just finished New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Like I just 100% completed the whole thing. And now I'm struggling on the first levels of this game. Like how tough is this gonna be? We definitely want some extra power-ups in what is happening over, oh no. I remember. Yeah, they got, <laughs> Luigi, she actually calls his name now. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and try this one. And definitely we gotta get as many power-ups as possible. So let's see what we have available to us. Yep, we gotta avoid the Bowser, which there only should be one. Oh wow, okay, it gives me one-ups. That could actually be really good. So it knows, definitely the power-up prioritization is different, because lives are a real struggle here. So just trying to pay attention to the Bowser. We know it's the one in the center, so avoid that one. Don't get it. So there's our three-up moon, which is honestly incredibly important, and the star could also be useful as well. You won, check it out. So very cool, that's gonna get me at the seven lives. So basically, one-up mushroom huts are going to be very, very, very important. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for those as well. Uh, for now, there we go, we get a little star, and I'm gonna move to the left and take on our first tower. It is, of course, uh, Acorn Plains Tower, Flame Gear Tower. These are different, different names as well, so that's pretty cool. And maybe we can use that baby Yoshi later on, that would be nice as well. I'm excited for that. Okay, see it is 100 seconds. I don't know why I thought it was 90 seconds and not 100. Okay, just keep going. Uh, maybe a bad idea. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, that was sort of lame. Sort of lame to say the least. There we go. <laughs> what is this power up then? Boing, that was not a power up. <laughs> okay, so we got star coin number one now. And there's star coin number two already, so that's a decent sign. Just gotta be patient and Wait for it. Oh no. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well. Okay. I'm just trying my best to look around. Because I can just, oh no, but you stinker. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's bad, that's really bad. Every life I lose is a big deal now. So that was tough. Okay, I know your deal. So, let's hop back in. I know we can handle it this time, right? We'll try it. I mean, I don't have any power-ups, so this time might even be even more risky, unless, yeah, this is like a mushroom that is only a mushroom if you're small Luigi. Like, if not, it's just a little extra thing. But that's still a power-up, no matter what. So that's nice. So now that I've done that, I just gotta get out of the way. I've already gotten two star coins right early on. Doing much better. I'm getting a little bit more used. I mean, I don't wanna claim that everything is easy just yet, but I am getting a little bit more used to controlling Luigi, and that's a good sign. Now, star coin three could be absolutely, ooh, absolutely anywhere. And it's up here, isn't it? Okay, can I get up here or no? <laughs> it's actually super tough to get up here. There we go. Oh, I need to, the wall jump. We got 60 seconds after this. I also did defeat the boss, right? So. And I think that, whoa, there was a lot of dry bones up there. Whoa, so I wanna keep this ice power for as long as possible because I could actually get a, a life or two here. Come on, ready? Oh no. I couldn't have messed that up any worse. Look at me being the worst gamer ever. And I, oh my gosh, Luigi, get out of here. Any power ups over here? You bet there's a fire flower. Can't believe I messed that up so badly. Luigi is so tough. Oh, oh, we got some extra time. I don't know why. 
But we did. Okay, so let's get to it. I think the two like O's from the rings, like the the entry of the boss, counted as two, I don't know, like a extra 100 seconds. Because I think we were down to 30 seconds, Aaron. So I don't know if we would have actually been able to do this in time, but I'm trying right now. Got him. Okay, so boom, boom's taking down the first boss. Yeah. And we did it. <laughs> Jeez Louise, Luigi. You got a lot of hard stuff stacked up for you for this adventure. Man, like, this is gonna be way tougher. Shows you that maybe Luigi's a more capable hero. Oh, I definitely wanna get that acorn down there. More powers will be very, very good. But for right now, we unlock the third level of acorn planes. We're definitely gonna save. I've learned my lesson. And there we go. Got this acorn, very nice. And we're gonna go up here, go over this way. What do we got? Acorn Plains 3, rolling Yoshi Hills. Oh, we still get to have fun with Yoshi. That's always good to see. So six lives to make this work with Yoshi. What is over to the left? Cause I don't trust that. There's, no, no, there was probably something. It is so tough to land on guys So, Oh, there's a one up. I need that right now. Thank you. That was good. And we also got an extra life from, ooh, I think just getting coins. So we're at eight lives now. So we're slowly climbing. Emphasis on slowly. Okay, get back over there, get to the Yoshi. So coins are really important as well. And the fact that I haven't gotten many is a problem. Star coins are even more important. And there are no star coins in there. Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe in here. Oh, there's probably star coin number one. Okay. Oh, get back up there. Thank you. Oh, this is some extra coins, which once again is good, but not as important. It's finding out where the heck, that, oh, you know what? It's probably down here, isn't it? No? Really? Okay, hit that, and then go for all these. We're missing a star coin. Oh, there it is, there it is! Yeah, nice job! I didn't even realize we got the second one. I forget where that was. Yeah, you made it, good job. That was done on the first try as well, so it was absolutely beautiful. We gotta get more going on like that. And what do we got next? You can see there's branching path. I think we gotta go for the left one for level four, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. I can't quite remember. This is level four, okay. So we'll go ahead and use Baby Yoshi and hopefully he'll help us out here. Oh, but are there secret exits? I need to check that, actually. So obviously we know about Baby Yoshi. He'll follow us around. I don't know if there's any secret exits that we gotta go find. If there are, I'm gonna have to find those before we get to the castle. So I might look that up real quest, quick. I won't you know, look up how to do them, but I will look up if there are any, just so that we don't have to go crazy with that, you know? Because I feel like that's just fair to know, personally. Because I don't know, I explore these levels very thoroughly. Whoa, I forgot that's how this works. No, go down, go down, go down, go down. Um, We explore the levels very thoroughly as it is. Okay, I eat all these guys, thank you. Get up this way, perfect. But we don't really need the Yoshi flutter thing too much. We, we jump high enough as it is. Okay, gonna go up here, maybe. Perfect, perfect, what is in this pipe? We're about to find out. I mean, hey, maybe there's a secret exit here. Oh, look at this, giant Luigi. <laughs> that is super cool, I like that. So I'll collect some of these coins, but not too many of them, because we are a little low on time. I wish that in this mode, the extra time would go to coins instead of points. That'd be a nice touch. Wait, we missed the first star coin, seriously? Oh no, I gotta go back anyway, so might as well just redo the whole level. Darn. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have lost a life, but oh well. <laughs> that stinks. Where's the first star coin at? Oh, maybe it's something with this? Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, be careful. That was not careful. Where is this first star coin? Oh, maybe up here? Oh, there it is, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so now I know where the rest of the stuff is. I mean, I have to do it on my own. I don't know why I took myself out like that. I, on my brain, it made sense because we had to do the level again anyways, but now that I think about it, that was a really silly idea, so I won't do that again. Anyways, go ahead and grab these coins. Got it, got it, got it. Seeing how I have a couple seconds, I wanna make the most of it. There we go, yeah, we gotta use that platform like that if we don't have Baby Yoshi. I'm already missing him a bunch, he was the best. So luckily this part was easy. Just gotta grab all these coins, got it, and then jump. That was a lot of coins right there, so we're back at the 10 lives, which is good. And now with all three star coins, I just need to make my way to the end of this level, just like that. I probably could have jumped off that platform, that would have been smarter, but hey, here we go, we got it. Made it. Indeed you did. 
So 10 lives, 62 coins, all three star coins in the level, that's pretty good. And we'll wrap back around and take on the fifth level now. But that leads right to the castle. Luckily, this first world is rather short, which makes it a fair bit more survivable. But man, it's still not easy. That one-up hut will mean everything. But with the extra jump height, it might be harder to do. Piranha Gardens. Let's try this one out. Oh, this looks really pretty, though. I do like the visuals. But they, they made it a little bit different, which is fun. Oh, no. You know what, can we just, yeah, bop you like that? That's pretty good. No power-ups, though, really? Oh, oh, okay, I was gonna say, what's with the mini Mario, or the mini Luigi? I mean, I haven't even seen a mini mushroom in this game yet, so where are we getting that from, exactly? I mean, maybe from here. Let me get this fire flower, and then can I go down this pipe? I can't. I have a really sneaking suspicion. Oh, get him! Oh, that was really nice, actually. Let us get up here. That's star coin number two, so I don't know what that mini mushroom thing is, but we might have to find out later. Doesn't this look like there's a platform there? Oh, there is! Oh, and you stinker, you got in my way. There it is, star coin number three! Run, Luigi, run! Oh, no! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Get back up, and then super Luigi jump and get the one up. There we go, we actually got that done at the first try. That's very, very good. So before we do too much more, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I guess we can go at, go and do the, the one up house first. And then beyond that, I might end up Checking to see if there's any secret exits before we move on to the castle, just in case. We got acorn planes, one up hut. We gotta be able to get at least one, one, one up here, right? <laughs> These cannons, of course, they fire a barrage of one ups. We gotta avoid the Bowser's out. For right now, it's just gonna shoot out coins, which should get us one extra life, I would hope. There we go. Oh no, oh no, that's bad. I'm already down negative one. Okay, come on, got it. Oh, but these actually give us two one ups now? Instead of two Bowsers and a one-up? That was good, but now I'm missing things like crazy again. So I think I'm only up one. Got it? Oh, almost got that one. Come on, ready? Oh, come on, oh no, come on! One more, one more, one more! Oh, I almost got both of them, it's so tough. I think I got two? Yeah, I got two! Very good, very good indeed. I mean, that doesn't seem very good compared to you know, New Super Mario Bros. U, where we had six or seven almost every time, but it's much more difficult here. So there is that done. So yeah, like I said, before we move forward, I'm gonna go ahead and check really fast if there's any secret exits to get. So apparently, yes, there are secret exits, and they seem to be in all of the same levels as the previous game. So as long as I can look out for that, I should be fine, at least, I mean, it seems to be that way. I'll keep an eye out for it and just take the secret exits that are available to me um, that were in a, that were available in New Super Mario Bros. U, but they'll be in different locations. So there's one in Acorn Plains too. I don't know where in the level it is, but I just know that there is one here. But it's like weird, because I thought I searched everywhere, but I, apparently not. So let's poke around really fast together, and if I can't find anything, then I'll just try looking again on my own. Because I really had a hard time finding that, finding that first arc coin to the point where I searched quite thoroughly. And I guess I didn't really search the second half of the level as much as I should have. I mean, even the third star cone was a little bit far off, you know? Hmm. Okay, let's plop down like that. And jump for it, very good. Got it. I know I could be getting an extra life with these Koopas, but I sort of, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> oh no, I think you can maybe get that without the squirrel suit. Cause he does sort of have a downward flutter, but maybe I'm wrong, I'm not really sure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was close. Okay, so <laughs> let's be careful. I don't wanna go up in that pipe. Let's try to like observe this area a little bit more. Like, I don't really know. Like, yeah, I don't see anything at all. Um, oh, well, that was lucky. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know, I was just sort of pouting around. That, that's something I just do when I'm looking around, just ground pad. I wasn't actually looking for anything there. Uh, Okay, just making sure there's nothing else extra around here. This has to be it then. Weird, that is a tough one. Scary tough, you know? Because it's like, this is the first secret exit in the game. They're only gonna get tougher from here on out. That was, I never would've found that on my own. I got lucky, I got really lucky. Let's keep in mind that if I'm just like confused on where to go to ground pound, <laughs> because that was just sort of something I already do, is just like, okay, just let me just fiddle around with the controls a little bit. 
Oh, what's weird is that the mushroom hut is restored. Is the one-up hut restored as well? Because I'll definitely reuse those, get some extra lives and power-ups, I could use them. And there we go, there's a the special level, which we will get done now. Seeing how we've completed all the other levels. Very weird, very, very weird. I mean, everything's exactly the same, it's just different levels. So there we go, it is Acorn Plane Special, cheap, cheap, uh, cheap chomp chase. Let's get to it. Were they cheap cheese before? Was this a special cheap cheap level? I don't remember. We're at 17 lives. I have a feeling we may lose a lot of them if this is a swimming level. I really hope it's not. It doesn't look like it so far. I'm supposed to be going down that pipe, which I do not trust. So I'm gonna try going in here. Or anywhere, really. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Oh man, I don't wanna go underwater. I don't wanna go underwater at all. Okay, so oh, what is over there? There is definitely something over here. Oh, oh, oh no, he's over here. No, there is definitely a star coin in there. I bet you anything, because this game is evil. So he's here too, which is just fantastic. What I, what power-ups do I have? Like I could try to go in there with a star. I'll try it, even though I don't think it's gonna help very much. I'll try to be as quick as I possibly can, get back there with the star, maybe that would help? Come on, come on, come on. Going down, I know I could have gotten a power-up or something but I can't even. Oh no, 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 I don't have too much time left. There it is. Come on, okay, so I got rid of him, that'll buy me like three and a half seconds, and star coin number one, chilling out right here. But he's gonna show up in a second, isn't he? Or maybe he doesn't, no, he does. Oh, and there's another star. Oh my gosh, I could get so many lives here if I can actually hit these guys. I don't know if I will, though. Got him. Come on, I need to do this for the extra lives, but they won't. Back out of here. There we go, we got a couple of extra lives. Nothing crazy. That dude's about to show up again, so I need to start moving. I only have 60 seconds left, so that might have actually not been worth it, because if I have to do this again, I won't have another star in my inventory. Come on, give me that mushroom, and then get me out of here! Get me out of here! Come on, uh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna have to get this and go down this way, apparently. Come on, come on. Last one, perfect. So I hope that didn't lead me astray and make me miss stuff. Got him. No, wait, no, wait, I keep on forgetting he takes three hits. There's star coin number two. That was very lucky, actually. Okay, these stuff, this stuff is bouncing me all around. All over. I don't like that. Okay, so where are we going now? Going down this way? Okay, I gotta trust it because I can't dilly-dally anymore. We just got the second star coin. What are the chances that it's not around here? Okay, we got 20 seconds left, not even. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 okay, we're back up. Where's the last star coin? No, you're not doing me like that game, come on. Where's the last star coin? Oh, no. I'm gonna try under here real fast. No, it's not, I gotta end the level right now. Four seconds remaining. I mean, maybe it is actually 100 seconds here, because usually in Mario games, that timer doesn't go by seconds. It's like two or three per second, it's weird. So where's the last one? I have to go through that entire level again. No, where could it have been? Oh man, but as you can see, that unlocks a little pathway over here, way over here. <laughs> and I think that leads to Soda Jungle? I believe so, which is cool to everything, but we don't need it. Not something I'm too interested in. <laughs> yep, all the way over here to Soda Jungle. But for now, let's leave all that long trip as it is and try our best to get that third star coin. Okay, 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 okay. There has to be something here, because that star coin falls out, but can we, oh, you sneaky little game. How would I have known? If the star coin came out of there, I would have just assumed that wasn't the case. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up this power block, make all these coins fall. I don't think they're gonna, like, the star coin's gonna fall to its tomb or anything. I missed out on a couple, but who cares? And is it just the exit after this? Oh, you bet it is. Hold on, hold on. I, I'm pretty sure we just jump over all this stuff. There it is, and now we're back to this. How weird is that? Oh, and there's another one up, and another one. So that's what you're supposed to do if you're not a dingus like me. And we got ourselves another uh, power up out of that one as well. So that has been quite the challenge, but we got it done, which is the most important thing, right? All right, what's going on over here? Thanks a ton for your help, here, take this. It is a fire flower, cool. Okay, so with that done, I guess all we have to take on now is the castle. 
and as far as I can tell. So that'll be good. Man, has this been tough already? I am worried for the rest of this series. Very worried. The only thing I can say is that it's relieving that the levels are so short. That really does sort of eliminate some difficulty with them. But the fact that you need power-ups outside of traditional levels is a little bit worrying as well. Let's go ahead and do this Piranha Plant thing. Maybe we'll get an extra power-up out of it. I haven't showcased it in this game technically before, so might as well, might be a little bit different. Uh, there we go, and then wait for this guy. Got him. So that probably would've just given me a star. I don't need it, I just need whatever's in here, and it is, hey, a propeller cap! That's always good to see, good old propeller cap. So, with that done, let's move straight to that castle. We get ourselves a propeller cap in our inventory. I wish our inventory could be larger in this game, because it feels like we're gonna need it. Acorn Plains Castle, Lemmy's Light Out Castle. Uh-oh, light out, like as in it's gonna go dark? I mean, this game's hard enough with being able to see what's in front of you. Oh no, it really is like that. So the fire flower will actually be really helpful. What would be even more helpful is a little baby golden Yoshi. So maybe we could get that. Okay, so there it is. I'm gonna jump up and miss it entirely. Okay, whoa, be careful, Luigi. So that was star coin number one. And I would love to get more, but I don't entirely trust this whole process. Okay, you know what? Not happening. I understand just how it has to be. I hope I didn't miss anything in the rush of all that, because that's sort of what happens, is that you miss things while you're rushing through. Okay, how am I getting that? Do I really need to go and get an, an item that's not in this level? Because I really don't like that they keep doing that. It's a P-switch. Oh, maybe this would? No, it doesn't. What the heck, are you serious? There's no way to get this without having an item you can't get in this level. Like that's, I like I don't think that counts as level design. I think that counts as sort of baloney design, you know? Like, I don't know, I really don't like it when Mario games do that. New Super Mario Bros. usually doesn't do that too often, but they're doing it here, which means I'm mad at them. So let's try this again and try really, really hard not to get hit, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But wow, why would they do that so often in the first world? I just like, I don't, I don't think that's how it should be, personally. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, got it. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there was a power up way later on or something, but I just, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, maybe if I actually got all of these, that would have given it to me, but if I had a full power up, it would have just given me a one up, that's how the game works. So I don't know, that's just very odd to me in all sorts of ways. So, like I said before, we need to glide down and miss it entirely. There we go, you know what? Ah, oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but the game doesn't like me, because I don't know what the third star coin has. Might be the same exact dealio, which would stink. So let's hope that's not the case. I was hoping to find star coin number three with that. Oh, look, a little Luigi. <laughs> so those things are hidden everywhere. Where is star coin number three? Come on now, you can't do this to me. Where is star coin number three? This was a mistake. Oh wait, there's a little gap here. Oh, hey, look at this. Okay, we did it, we found it. I can't believe we made that jump. So Luigi obviously has his advantages when it comes to that kind of stuff. And got it. Very cool, so let's take on Lemmy Koopa and hope it turns out okay. Where are we gonna pop up? Right here. Isn't that great? And will there be a power up waiting for me near the hidden Luigi? Which, like I've said before, this game apparently is littered with hidden Luigis. Apparently Super Mario 3D World is as well. So that added another 100 seconds, I think. Interesting that it does that. Bleh. All right then, Lemmy Koopa. You are going down. Whoop. Pop right in there. And launch. <laughs> Wahoo. <laughs> Very cool. We only need one more coin to get another life, but obviously we're not gonna get that from this. All right, Lemmy. We defeated you once as Mario. Whoa, where'd I go? <laughs> oh my gosh, I went so high up in the air. That was weird. So I think he's pretty simple. He's gonna bounce around once, and I think he's gonna come back around this way. Oh, no, he's not. All right, whoa, here we go again, boom, got him. So let's try that one more time. If you can pop back up on the right. Oh, we're running out of time now. This is real risky. Oh, that's a big bomb. Slam, yeah, that actually worked. That must have hurt. He was way up there when he slammed down. So there we have it. That is every star coin and every level complete in the first world Acorn Plains in New Super Luigi U. That is very foreboding because it was a challenge through and through. All right, Luigi, this adventure's all about you, so you show him who's boss. 
and off, off he goes. So besides the fact that there's different levels and Luigi's the main character, everything is exactly the same. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping it'd be a tad bit different, but there we go. There's that castle done. The road to uh, Layer Cake Desert is open and we got all the star coins and acorn planes. Very, very good. So we'll save up with that and that'll wrap it up for their first episode. Let me know your thoughts on New Super Luigi U. Do you like it or do you not? Or have you played it yet? I would love to hear all about it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Luigi U Deluxe. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Luigi Zebra so that you watch at the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.